The terms 568A and 568B refer to a set of wiring standards developed by TIA-EIA, which is also known as the Telecommunications Industry Association. These terms define the rules on how twisted pair cables should be wired to RJ45 connectors. And these wires must follow a certain order so that the network can function properly. The 568A standard is wired in this order. White slash green, then green, white slash orange, blue, white slash blue, orange, white slash brown, and brown. And the 568B standard is wired in the following order. White slash orange, then orange, white slash green, blue, white slash blue, green, white slash brown, and brown. There is no difference in the functionality as to which standard is used. Whether you choose to use the A or B wiring standard, if both ends of the cable are wired using the same standard, then this is known as a straight cable. Let's say this cable is wired on both ends using the 568A standard. A straight cable allows signals to pass straight through from end to end. And this is the most common type of cable, and it is used to connect computers to hubs, switches, or modems. Another type of cable is called a crossover, and this cable is created when both ends of the cable are wired using the two different standards. For example, one end is wired using the A standard, and the other end is wired using the B standard. Crossover cables are used to connect two similar devices together. For instance, you can use a crossover cable to connect two computers directly to each other without using a hub or switch. Crossover cables are also used to connect hubs or switches to each other. A rollover cable is created when both ends are wired opposite of each other. These are used to connect a computer or a terminal to a router's console port. And a loopback table is for testing purposes. It is to make a computer think that it's connected to a network. And to make a loopback cable, you connect pin 1 to pin 3 and pin 2 to pin 6. A firewall can be either software or hardware. It is a system that is designed to prevent unauthorized access from entering a private network by filtering the information that comes in from the Internet. It blocks unwanted traffic and permits wanted traffic. Basically, it filters the incoming network data packets and determines by its access rules if it is allowed to enter the network. In today's high-tech world, a firewall is essential to every business to keep its network safe. Firewalls come in different types, and one type is called a host-based firewall. And this is a software firewall. This is the kind of firewall that is installed on a computer, and it protects that computer only and nothing else. For example, Later versions of Microsoft operating systems come prepackaged with a host based firewall, as you can see here. You can turn the firewall on or off if you want, and you can also create exceptions to the firewall based on the application name on the Exceptions tab. And of course, you can always purchase a third party firewall and install it on your computer.
Today, there are five different categories of twisted pair cables that you're going to need to know for the exam. The difference between these is the maximum speed that can be handled without having any crosstalk. The numbers of these categories represent the tightness of the twists that are applied to the wires. Category 3 has a maximum speed of 10 megabits per second. Category 5 has a maximum speed of 100 megabits per second. Category 5E is an enhanced version of Category 5, and it has speeds of 1000 megabits per second. Now Category 6 also has a maximum speed of 1000 megabits per second, but it's more of a heavy-duty cable when compared to Category 5E, and it also has a maximum speed of 10,000 megabits per second but only for a cable length of less than 100 meters. Category 6A, or augmented, has a maximum speed of 10,000 megabits per second, and unlike Category 6, this has a maximum length of 100 meters. Lastly, there is Category 7. Category 7 also has a speed of 10,000 megabits per second. Category 7 is basically a heavy-duty version of CAT6, with added shielding to the wires for better protection against interference. Unshielded twisted pair is by far the most common type of cable that is used today. It consists of four pairs of unshielded wires twisted around each other. The wires are twisted to prevent electromagnetic interference or crosstalk. This type of cabling is mainly used on local area networks. Shielded twisted pair is very similar to unshielded twisted pair, except that it has a foil shield that covers the wires. This shielding adds a layer of protection against electromagnetic interference leaking into or out of a cable. This is a coaxial cable. This is used today primarily by cable providers to provide a computer with broadband internet connection. Early on, it was used as a backbone for networks, such as a bus network. There are two common types of coaxial cable. The first type is RG6, and this is made for long distances and is commonly used for cable television and internet connection. The second type is RG59, and this is made for short distances and is commonly used for high definition and high quality video. Now, we're getting into fiber optic cables, and here is a cutaway view of a fiber optic cable and a light source. Fiber optic cable uses pulses of light to send data, and as a result, it is very fast and it can span for great distances. There were two different modes in fiber optics, single mode fiber, and multimode fiber. Single mode fiber is a fiber optic cable that allows light to enter only at a single angle, as you can see here. So, when this type of transmission of light enters at this angle, it can span for great distances. Now, this is multimode fiber. The difference between multimode and single mode is that in multimode, light travels in multiple beams that reflect off the walls of the cable. Unlike single mode fiber, multimode fiber is made for short distances. This video is part of our full CompTIA A course, which can be found in the description.